Go ahead. This is an order for Compline for Thursday, March 18th, and it begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. We'll take just a minute to be quiet. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm for tonight is Psalm 93, found on page 722 of the Book of Common Prayer. We will read this in unison. The Lord is King. He has put our splendid apparel the Lord has put on his apparel and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began, your throne has been established. You are from everlasting. The waters have lifted up, O oh Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the sound of many waters, Mightier than the breakers of the sea, mightier is the Lord who dwells on high. Your testimonies are very sure, and holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together, let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Together in the middle of page 134. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. 
through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This time you may unmute yourselves for prayers, either silently or aloud. Pray for Sally. Patrick. <coughs> Gail. Gail. Tessa. For Wendell. Josh and Stephanie. For the Conference Center. Denise. For Doris. For Bill. All our healthcare workers and those working in the clinics to get vaccinations out. For those in the past of the tornadoes this week. Lord, we lift all these prayers up in your name. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free, go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Heavenly Father, we pray for our local community and its needs. We pray for all those who live and work here, for any who are struggling at this time, for all who are looking for work but have not yet found it, for those who live in poverty or on the streets or alone. We pray that every person in this community would know your love and your care for them, and that we would build together ever stronger friendships with those with whom we share our lives. Look, we pray, O oh Lord, on this our community. Strengthen what is good within it and teach us to cherish it. Wherever there is suffering, send your aid and renew our commitment to one another that in our everyday lives, we may bear one another's burdens and rejoice to share one another's joys. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.